a very special man who's becoming a nice friend, uh, Stanley Pfefferman. He was a professor of English at York for something like 40 years, and I actually took his course, come on down, uh, many years ago, and uh, he did Buddhism and literature, and I've never forgotten him on Leonard Cohen and Yeats. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's funny you should mention Yeats because I'm going to open just with a remark on one of his poems. I prepared a, just a suite of poems, four, uh, four little poems. They're on the subject of love, romantic love, and uh, the guru in romantic love, of course, is Yeats. And um, the passage, the sacred passage is. Love has pitched his mansion in the place of excrement. Not very nice, but very true. And what it means to me, and somehow inspires me, is that if you're going to have love affairs and write about them, you probably have to go through a lot of shit. Unless, you know, you're doing the Hallmark card things, which I don't do. So this one is called, this, uh, I'm not, uh, they have titles, but when I run them as a suite, I'm just going to read them. What, what finally made it work was the thought that you were the wife of someone else, the wife of an important man who was breaking your heart with someone else, the way my wife was breaking my heart by falling in love with someone else, also an important man who also wanted to leave his wife and finally make it work with someone else. What finally made it work was the thought that I was an important man and you were the wife of someone else and I was that someone else. So you were my wife sleeping with someone else and I was that someone else and that way I could make it work that my wife was sleeping with someone else. Well, what finally made it work was the thought that I was sleeping with someone else and you were that someone else, a human being, naked like myself, except for your blouse, as we held each other and rocked. What finally made it work was the thought that I was just someone else who'd just fallen in love with you. Your body curled under me like calligraphies of smoke from the burning tip of an incense stick set in the earth of a potted rose bush that stands on a table near the window. Her scars. This woman wears wounds, signatures of scalpel on breast, neck, and along the leg. This woman was captured, racked, broken-backed over necessity's edge. Still, she comes, soft as cat, terrible her attack. Her scars are smiles of tigress. We were disciplined and shining, two luminous spiders making our pilgrimage up a vertical cliff, cheerfully catching each nuance and rift in the broad face of love that unrolled under us in the winter sun. Spring is coming, but you are gone. The odor of lovers is in the wind, and I am hungry for their knowledge. I wonder what you're doing. I'm spinning a map of our travels. I'm starting a tour for the flies. Thank you. Thank you, Stanley.